How's everybody doing? Good, Andy. Coach, good. I've got Coach here, and we'll get going as uh, as soon as you guys are ready. You want to go ahead, Les, or do you want me to go? You can jump in there, Essex. Thank you. Appreciate it. Coach, congrats on the win. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, you all went into that TV timeout in the fourth quarter with a, just about five minutes left in the game, down 45 55. Did you guys, or did you tell the team anything in particular to get them going? No, I mean, I think this team, you know, it, with, the, with the leadership we have on this team with our seniors and just, they were saying the right things in the huddles already, like, guys, we got this. We got to defend and we got to rebound. And I don't think they ever doubted that tonight. Um, you know, this, this team, Pitt, I mean, give them a lot of credit. They're really physical. Um, they're aggressive. And, you know, at times we didn't handle that well. But when it, when it counted in the end, I think we just said, you know what? This is our game, our senior night. Our play for cave night means a lot to a lot of people and, and our future. And I just think they, they were saying the right things. And then I just reemphasized defensively what we needed to do and that we had to finish it with a rebound. And I, and I think that was the difference. I mean, what is, what, how is the team feeling? And do you have anything to say about the team just after a roaring comeback like that? Oh, they're, I mean, I couldn't be more proud of them. Like I, I told them in there, like we were all jumping up and down. Just to, the amount of heart that this team showed tonight, that a lot of people probably thought we were down and out and like, oh, it's, it's you know, Wake Forest is about to, you know, blow their, their future, their chance or whatever. For us to sit in those huddles and every time their eyes be locked on each other, believing in each other, our bench was outstanding. I told them I, I thought they were going to come out on the floor the one time it was like a wall of excitement back there. And I just felt like we had this, this resilience and perseverance that we were just... I told him, I said, sometimes you have to fight a battle more than once to win it. And I just felt like we kept fighting and fighting and fighting. And, you know, big play by different player after big play, whether it was a defensive stop, whether it's Jewel hitting that three, whether it's Gina's, you know, everybody. You could go down the line. And, you know, I thought Liv Samuel was huge on the boards for us tonight. Um, so just a lot of good things. But, you know, we, we got to play better. We got to play, play better from the beginning and, and handle that kind of physicality better. Coach, uh, obviously you came back from 10 down and tied it up, went to overtime, and then you grabbed a five-point lead early in overtime, and it kind of looked like, okay, this game's over. Right. It gave you one last shot to the body, and you all absorbed that. That kind of showed you a lot too, right? It did, you know, because, because I mean, they're, they're a really dangerous team. They're young, and, and they're not going to go away, and we had just said coming out of that timeout, like, don't let them hit a three. Watch those really deep threes, especially Jayla Everett. I mean, a phenomenal player. And, and you know, she hits it, and I could see us hang our head a little bit. So, you know, it was kind of just picking us up, like, we're all right. So it's one shot. Let's play defense and, and, and rebound again. And, I, I mean, again, on the offensive end, I thought we were able to execute some things down the stretch where we just really were poised. We were able to use some timeouts, um, you know, and we, we got a couple extra O boards down there, too, that I thought were critical. There was a there was a play late in regulation that was crucial. I think it got it to within three, where Pitt kind of uh, fumbled the ball a little bit. You guys knocked it loose. A couple of your players hit the ground after it. That led to an M one on the other end. How did that play come together, and and just how big of a turnaround was that? I think that was a huge turnaround. One of the things we talked about coming into this game is that. They're a team that gets like they live on 50 50 balls and, and kind of out rebounding their opponents. I think they're third in our league with offensive rebounding. And so yeah. our challenge to our kids were we we have to we kind of played off the power of one. We are more powerful as one together. We have to be the first to the floor. We, we have to match that kind of intensity, if you will. And I thought tonight you saw multiple chance, multiple possessions where we had bodies on the floor just scrapping and being gritty and being the team that knew like we had to find a way. And I think this team tonight, you know, it wasn't pretty, you know, eight assists, I think 16 turnovers. That's too many turnovers for us. We don't, that's high for us. Um, unless, you know, I've, I've been here many years and that has not been high, but, <laughs> um, you know, but I thought, I thought Alex Scruggs made a huge defensive play there um, where she kind of, they, they were, the kid drove and we stopped her. I thought we just did a good job defensively locking in. We got a steal and, 
and you know, and and that's why that makes this team special. It's it's not just one kid. And I asked them in one of the timeouts, "Do you want to, you know, what defensively? What do you want to do?" And they were like, "Coach, we're playing man. We let's lock. It. We're gonna put the we got we got to lock them down. We got to do. We got to lock into the scouting report. Take care of the you know take care of each position and and everything we talked about every timeout was finish it with a box out. We got to box them out. Um, you know, Ivana gets another double double, but. You can't overlook the, the the work on the boards by both. You know, uh, uh, what Gina got eight and, and, and Olivia got got eleven for you. I mean, yeah, well, just a big effort on the boards, right? It was. You know, Gina eights for her. That might be a career high for her. Um, I didn't even realize she had that many. But you know, that kid all night long was just let's go. Like she she's trying to will this team to win. And she knows that they're all right there with her. And, and but she, you know, this was a special night for her. It's a special night for all those seniors. Um, and, and I just think like her doing that work on the board tonight was, she knew it was something that was going to, we always talk about focus on the process, focus on all the details that'll get the result we want. We can't focus on the result. We have to focus on, I, you know, I can't let her go right. I got to, I got to do this on a ball screen. I, this is a shooter. This is a non-shooter. Well, she was constantly out there telling them, you know, let's, we got to rebound. And, and for her, that's huge because she's not usually a big rebounder for us. And that's something we've talked about for four years. You know, Liv Samuel, you know, I told her early in the game, I said, you got to rebound. And if you rebound, you know, like, and she, I thought she stepped up to that. I thought Christina Mora, you know, she's, you know, she got two big O boards for us, but, you know, I just, and then Ivana, you know, I thought she was struggling a little bit offensively. You know, anytime, you know, teams really physical with her like that. I thought she got a lot of contact early. They're going to let them play through that. And so I, I got to give her credit because I thought she stayed through and she she persevered through that. Didn't let, let it get into her head too much. And, you know, double double on the senior night where she goes 0 for 4 from the three and misses two free throws. I mean, those are not regulars for her. You know, her mom's in town. Um, so it's special for her to anytime she gets to play in front of a, a family member. So, you know, I just. You know, Kaya, I thought was huge for us coming in. I just thought there was multiple people who, who gave us, but Demir Hines, you know, she comes in and gets two huge rebounds and has two big defensive stops. So that's what this team has to do. Um, like we can't just rely on, you know, the big two or the big three or the big four. Like everybody can do a little bit something and everybody can bring something to the table. Alex Scruggs is nine points, five rebounds tonight and somewhat quiet. Um, we have people on the bench that could be doing some of this. It's just these are such tight games that, you know, it's just hard to get some of those kids in there, and it's hard. It's more hard to take some of those kids out. Uh, in terms of uh, Gina's work on the boards, if I remember correctly, she got knocked to the floor twice on that last defensive possession and ended up drawing the foul when she, when she pulled in the rebound on the baseline. Yeah. But just the grittiness on her, what, what, what can you say about that? Yeah, you know, a couple of years ago, I, I called her a warrior because I thought, I think that year she led the conference in minutes played. And you know, one of the things we try to do is make sure to get her a couple of breaks so that she can finish games and have her legs to make free throws in that late late game situation. But that kid tonight just had a look in her eyes about, um, you know, when she, she turned it over there on that offensive possession, you could just tell on the other end, like, okay, it's time. I can't. Um, that's not going to happen. I'm going to make up for this with a rebound. And, you know, Alex Scruggs is three at the end of regulation. I told her, I said, it was a great shot, Alex. You took the last shot. We wanted the last shot, you know, and I said, don't worry about it. And, and she comes out and makes the defensive play and one of the first defensive plays of the overtime. So that's one of the things this group has been so much fun to coach is instead of hanging their head, they kind of think about the next play. Let's just go to the next thing. Cause you, and I told him, I said, we can't like going into the fourth quarter. I said, we can't live in the past. We got 10 minutes to go. And with these 10 minutes, let's do let's do what we aim to do when we came out tonight. We not, not, don't necessarily have played the way we wanted to play, but let's do it these 10 minutes. And again, these kids just kept saying the right things. Considering where you guys are at on the bubble right now, and I know you probably try not to pay a whole lot of attention right. to that, but you're in the last four in for now, you know, so it's a tenuous plight. And the road you have ahead on the schedule how important was it to secure this win tonight? This was a must win. I didn't tell that to the players, um, but, but I mean, it was a must win. And that, and that is no disrespect to a pit team that's just getting better and better and better. They, they had 32 days without a game, um, you know, and they're playing hard and they, they're, they're, they're just in, but this was a game at home against a team that you have to beat. For us to continue to do what what we set what we have in our minds and our what our goals and our vision is for where this team has to go, um, I asked them at shoot around today, what's the most important game on our schedule left? 
and they all had they knew tonight absolutely um now the ne next most important game on our schedule is sunday it's clemson like we we did not finish a game we had here with them we get to go on the road and play them again um this team has shown that we can be road warriors it won't be easy um, they're, they're much like this team. I compare these two teams a lot together because to me, they're both two of your more athletic, um, undersized a little bit, but don't play that way because they just play so athletic and aggressive. Um, and so we've, we've got to be able to, you know, turn around a quick scouting report, but now everybody on our schedule, we've already played once. We don't have another team that's new to us. So, you know, it, it, I think that that helps us a little bit down the road. I mean, teams have changed a lot since we played Miami. That's been a long time ago, <laughs> um, NC state even. Uh, so even though it was senior night tonight, we still have another home game next Thursday against, you know, the Wolfpack. And, you know, we just, we got to take it one day at a time. Tomorrow they got to make some free throws, <laughs> watch some film and do, do a walkthrough of Clemson and remind them and refresh them on what Clemson is going to be like. And tonight was great preparation for what they'll be like. In terms of it being senior night tonight, and I know there's a lot of basketball ahead in this season, has there been conversations with some of those seniors about what next year looks like for them? There was some initially when the first rule came out. Um, I just don't think it's a time to talk about it. Um, these guys are so locked in and focused on what they want to do this year that for us, you know, I just, I, I mean, I, I, I write all our seniors a letter on senior night and in their letter, I kind of talked to them a little bit about a lot of things and I mentioned it, but <laughs> um, as you know, I just think they are so focused on what the next three weeks are going to look like. And, you know, again, we're grateful every time we get to step on the floor and, and, and play this game. And, you know, this year is showing people more than ever, like you've got to be grateful for it because it can be taken away in a heartbeat. And this group has really embraced that opportunity. And even though sometimes it's not pretty, they, they are showing the grittiness and, and just the heart and soul of what, what, they, what, what they set out to do back when we first came in in July and decided we were going to make all these sacrifices and we were going to do this. We, you know, there was never a discussion by anybody on our team about opting out. It just wasn't an option. No, we love this game. We love each other. We want to play. Hey, Coach, just one last question. Yeah. For me. I mean, let's hit it right on the head uh, with talking about the bubble. Yep. Um, and I know, as he said, that that's something you guys probably are trying to not focus on. But does that really have an effect, especially with you, you know, being part of the last Wake team to make it to the tournament? How much is that affecting you guys? And then also, you know, just you personally trying to to bring this team back to to a tournament that they have not participated in for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I think what we try to do is keep the pressure off of the off of the team as much as possible. Um, we don't really talk about it. Like I said, we we focus in on defend rebound and run and the results will take care of themselves but these kids are on social media every day you see it on there i know there, somebody's got like scenarios already out there for if we win this game how many we gotta you know and we just you can't get caught up in that um we had a quote the other day about you know you can't basically saying don't let the headlines steal the discipline that allows you to sustain success and, and every day we start practice with a quote. And then I have kids and Nevaeh Brown, one of our freshmen, one of my best, my favorites, cause she's, she'll explain it back to us. Like I'll read it to them. And then what does that mean to you? So these kids know, like we can't, we talked about today, we can't, we're not, we can't be as only as good as we were when we played at Georgia Tech. We have to have gotten better since that game. If we don't take steps forward, then we're gonna we're gonna have a we're gonna have a mishap somewhere, and we got to continue to step take steps forward. We got to clean up the turnovers tonight. We got to clean up, you know, the, the free throw shooting. There, there's always something that we strive to be one percent better. Everybody, and and again, my bench tonight I thought was phenomenal. I have to give them a ton of credit for what they were doing tonight because the the energy we felt on them and. You know, in this, this day and age, it's tough to have energy in, a, in our arena. Thank, you know, our band's back. We love having them back. And then just having those seniors families in the in the gym tonight meant so much to them. So it's just, it was a big night and an emotional night. And just, man, it was exhausting. <laughs> Thanks and congrats, Jen. Thank you so much. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Thanks, Les. Thanks, Les. All right. Appreciate it.